hello. Today is Wednesday, January 5th. I had to think for a minute. And I think today was my mom and my mother and father-in-law's um, anniversary today. I'm almost positive it was today, the 5th. Barb will let me know. <laughs> Barb is uh, Jim's sister. I would ask Jim. <laughs> He's not going to know. He's not going to know. But uh, what is this in here? I'm trying to see what... Trying to see. Oh, that's my table. I'm trying to figure out another blooper. See, this is this is how dyslexic people are. I'm trying to point to that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's my water. Yeah, it's my water. <sighs> now that we got that all taken care of, today is like I said, kind of like just completed today. We're not going to do a blooper every single day, but today is Wednesday, January fifth. And we do have a birthday. I know this for a fact. It's Lucinda Louth, L-A-U-T-H. Lucinda, Lucinda, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucinda. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday because you get to celebrate it all on your own. I'm still trying to think. Like I said, Jim will never remember anything. I have to tell him whenever anybody's birthday is. He remembers my birthday, which is the most important birthday to remember, and <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And uh, he remembers his birthday, and he remembers all the kids' birthdays. But the grandkids, his brother, his sister, nah. He's not going to remember them unless I remind him. Um, anyway, thank you for indulging me in the beginning video, <laughs> the opening credits video. Um, I just... Um, my theme for today is um, just the, the things that you think to yourself or, or the things that you say don't say out loud aren't the same. Wait a minute. Let me think about how I wanted to say this. Hmm. Messing up already. I should really just start the video over, but you know what? This is the way we go. <laughs> Hang on. It's going to be a heck of a ride. It's going to be a hell of a ride. But I didn't want to say that. <laughs> um, anyway, um... I wrote it down because let's see. Hmm. It's what we whisper to ourselves that matters, not what we say out loud. There we go. I can say out loud, um, you know what? I'm going to practice my editing skills today and I'm going to learn how to do a new edit on the beginning of my video. And I, and I did tell Jim that this morning. I said, you know, I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos today because I'm kind of envious of the way other people are editing their videos. I think they look really sharp. Roy, with his split screen, got me on this. Thanks, Roy. Thanks a lot, Roy. Thanks a lot. Because, as you can see, my opening clip video, I think it was like one minute and five seconds. That took me, and I'm almost ashamed to admit it, that took me about two hours to do. Two hours to do. I'd watch a little bit of the, the YouTube and then stop it, pause it, figure out what I had to do. And then I'd start it again and then do it. And, start, and it was just, but I was determined. I was determined I was going to learn something because my, my think, some of one of my goals for this year is to each month learn something new that I didn't think I could do. Um, I've reached an age where, you know, like it's just the older you get, sometimes you think that it's impossible to learn things. But as Suzanne over at Suzanne Brightlines will point out, is she was looking for a job, and she said she would be very well qualified for the job, but as soon as they saw that she was 60 years old, they didn't want to hire her because she was old. I think that you should hire someone that's older. Now, granted, my editing skills today prove what I'm going to tell you, that when you're a little bit older, or a lot older like I am, it takes a little bit of time to learn new skills. It really does. But I think that we... And I don't have patience. Let me let me start. Cat on point was saying about her word for the year is, is patience. And I like to joke that before I was born, which nobody has a memory of, I understand that this is just like in my warped little mind how I think, that before I was born and I was in heaven and I was picking up from God all my qualities that I was going to have when I came here on earth, when I was actually born, that you had to go and you had to stand in different lines. And then once you, I know, I'm a wackadoodle. I'm telling you, I know I'm a wackadoodle. But I really think that when I was going to the line that said patience, 
I saw that line and thought, I don't have the patience to stand on that line. And so I just bypassed that line. So God gave me a lot of good qualities, but patience is not one of my strong suits. So just the mere fact that I spent two hours doing my one minute opening credit that you probably have to indulge me with for at least a couple of weeks that I'm going to be using it. Maybe not. It's just even Jim, when he saw it, he says, oh my gosh, is that a production? <laughs> he says, it's like one of my old time Turner classic movie openings. <laughs> but I'm just really proud of it. I'm really, really proud of it. And I whispered to myself, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. There's no way. There's no way. But I kept saying out loud, you know, I'm going to do this. But anyway, get back to Suzanne. <laughs> I know, this is another thing about me. I I guess I stood in the extra long line, or not stood in the extra long line. I stayed, went back for seconds of like useless stuff to hold on to because this is just, I know I'm rattling on. I think that you should hire older people because first of all, I think they're more reliable because first of all, they really need the job because they're older and it's harder to find a job. But they're willing to learn and they're really reliable and they don't, plan on going to a party the night before and staying out all night and being too tired to come in the next day. Not that all young people do that, but you know what? I was young at one point. I really was young at one point. And I did have many, 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 many of a night that I didn't come home too much before I had to get up and go to work. And I did go to work, but I wasn't at my 100% best because I was tired. <laughs> Whereas I think older people just think, you know, been there, done that. You know, you've done all your party and you've done all, not all of it, but you know what I'm saying. So anyway, what was I getting on to this? This is just a rattling on video. I'm so sorry. Look at, I'm seven minutes into it and I just, I don't think I've made a point. The point I'm trying to make is that if you really put your mind to something, you can really have the determination to get it done. And you really, really will get it done. And if you tell yourself that you're not going to get it done, you know what? You're not going to get it done. You're just not. So I told myself this morning that I was going to get this done. Before the end of the day, I was going to have a brand new opening for my video. And I didn't care how long it took me. I really, truly thought it was going to be more than the two or three hours. Because I can't really think. I think it was, it could have been three, really. Because this is late. This is at night. Let me show you. Let me see if I can move you without. See what time it is. Doing my opening later. Because I've already eaten. Um, I haven't eaten dinner yet though. What time is it? It's only 6.30. It's not even close to dinner time. Um, but I was determined that I was going to get it done. Just like I'm determined that this is going to be my year. I really flubbed up in 2021. Uh, I've watched so many videos of so many people that can't, fig can't figure out why they did so poorly this Christmas. I truly blame it on 2020 <laughs> because on 2020, we just lived our own lives like all caps in like our own little capsule. And uh, we just couldn't uh, get together with family and friends. And this year when we could get together with family and friends, it was just like, <sighs> we just threw everything to the wayside and we just went crazy. Uh, I really... You know, like if you have to, I always like to look at the good side and the bad side of things. I, if you watch my channel, you know that. I always look at the good side of a bad a bad situation. Uh, 2020 was a really bad situation. It really was. There's no doubt about it. But we learned so much more as far as technology. Look at how many more people can work from home. How many more things we can do online that we couldn't didn't think we could do before or they never even thought we would try to even do before. Uh, I think we learned a new appreciation of family and friends and just getting out, getting out with the public. Um, I think that 2020 was a learning experience and I think that we learned a lot. And unfortunately in 2021 at Christmas time, we didn't learn to cut back on our eating because <laughs> a lot of us just really ate a lot. But this is a new year and my new year goals are to make the 2022, not 2020, Two, but 2022, um, my best year ever. It really, is, I think this is going to be my best year ever. I plan on, like I said, learning something new each month. I don't know exactly what it will be, but I'm going to learn something. No, it's not going to be to learn how to play the banjo because I'm not going to learn how to play the banjo. I'm not going to invest in a banjo. But um, this month, I'm going to hone up in my editing skills. So you're going to see, hopefully, a little bit different things of my videos. I'm going to take a little few chances. Hopefully, I don't annoy you with my trying but uh and, and I really think that um I'm going to stop whispering to myself that can't be done I got so close to my 100 pounds and I whispered to myself you're never gonna do it 
And you know what? I didn't do it. Because I whispered to myself that I wasn't going to do it. I kept telling you out loud I was going to do it. I kept telling you out loud that by December 31st I was going to reach my goal. I kept saying it out there, throwing it out into the universe. But my mind was telling me, you know, you can say all you want, but unless you truly, truly believe it, what you believe in your mind, not what you say out of your mouth, what you believe in your mind is what's really going to come true. And that's what came true, is the fact that I kept telling myself, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Never, never. Sounded like Dana Carvey there. Not going to do it. Not, not, not going to do it. But uh, the church lady. <laughs> I love the church lady. But anyway, um, so I, I really do think that. And um, you, you, you have to stop being a victim of, of negative talk. Uh, would you t tell other people things that you tell yourself out loud? Maybe you might think them in your mind. We're all human. We're going to think things about people in our minds. We really are. But we have to which I have, I hope, well, maybe not really. I try to have an edit button. <laughs> I really do. But I don't think I deliberately say things to hurt people's feelings. I really, truly don't believe that. Now, I might think some things that might hurt people's feelings, but I don't think I ever verbally say them out loud. At least I hope I never have. And if I have, I, I apologize. But I'm human, and that's just human nature. I mean... It's just you learn from a very early age what you should say out loud and what you shouldn't. And I should have learned a lot younger to trust my judgment in myself and know that I could make smart choices and better choices. And, and that's my goal for this year. Uh, not a set weight amount, not to reach, like I do want to reach my 100 pounds, but I'm just going to have faith in myself and believe in myself and stop all the negative talk. And I really have been kind of holding myself back on my editing skills because I just think, you know, it's nice to watch other people do it, but, you know, you're not going to be able to do it. But no, I'm going to prove myself wrong in January. I'm going to prove to myself that I'm going to learn a lot of new editing skills, and I'm going to learn how to do them, and I'm going to do them. But um, I just have to remember that, you know, I'm smarter. Look, I bit my tongue. <laughs> I'm smarter than I think I am. I really am. I, I'm a pretty smart person. I'm not... I'm not by any means a genius, no way. Which, you know what, and truly, I would never want to be a genius. I would never want to be so smart that I knew everything. I really wouldn't, because I think life would be boring. I really do think life would be boring. If you knew everything, it's like, where's the challenge in anything? So that's why I think that it's nice to always struggle just a little bit, because I think you learn from your struggles. If I would have got on my diet and Weight Watchers on December 31st and joined on when I joined and lost my 100 pounds within a year. I really don't think I would have appreciated it as much as I'm going to appreciate it when I finally do reach it because I am finally going to reach it. I know I don't know when, but I am going to reach it before I die. I know that. Now, nobody knows when they're going to die. I know all of that too. But anyway, I just... Uh, I really have a strong belief in that. And I do think that if I didn't have all the struggles that I've had along the way, and I didn't learn along the way the things that trigger me and uh, set me off, that I wouldn't get, I wouldn't have been this far. And I'm looking at my little turtle here. Let me turn them around so I can show you. It says, stay patient and trust your journey. And that's what I'm going to do this year. I'm going to stay patient, although we just talked about that. That line was so long. I don't, but I'm trying. I really am trying. But uh, I know I can do it, and I'm not going to be a victim to my own self self doubt. I'm just not. I just I'm tired of I'm tired of uh, running around in a circle. I really am, and um, I just uh, I'm just I just want to help you reach your goals too. Um, I'm hoping Diane Diane Cross. And told me, she said, you know what, when I mess up, she's going to give me tough love. Please, please, please give me tough love. But I'm hoping that that's not going to happen. <laughs> I really am. I'm, I'm really thinking that I'm going to have like a better thought process going on this year. And uh, I just, uh, I think I'm more determined than I have been in a very long time. And I'm not really faking it. I'm really, I'm just, I'm really determined to make this the best year ever in all aspects of my life. So, um Anyway, uh, I did talk to Jimmy. He's feeling a little bit better. Samantha's sick too. But the two girls, uh, Samantha's two girls that live with Jimmy and Samantha, um, they're not sick. They tested negative. And uh, David and um, 
Alyssa aren't sick either. Uh, Jimmy thinks he got it from Samantha's brother because they went to their house on Christmas and then he came um, with COVID. So, um, but not a serious case either. So I, I think it's just because we're vaccinated that um, it's going to happen. I know that's going to happen. Um, somebody, I can't remember who, was asking about Denise's dog because I was mentioning about tripping over the dog leash yesterday, the puppy. Um, as... Um, as she got older and bigger, she really kind of overtook the other animals in the house. Denise has three cats and another dog. Um, and I don't know what the why the dog did it. They, they wasn't vicious or anything. I don't want to sound like that. But very domineering over the other animals. And to the point that the other animals were afraid to come into the room when Missy was in there because Missy kind of just dominated the room. And uh, and she was getting bigger, and she was a little bit more forceful with the other animals because uh, you've seen um, Piper. Piper's a small, I don't know what kind of dog she is. Sue Warren will know because in the comments below, look in the comments below because Sue Warren will let you know because I don't remember because they have the same kind of dog. She kind of looks like a collie, but she's not a collie. But anyway, Missy was a, a golden retriever. That I know. But... Um, she was just kind of overpowering Piper all the time. And she was always licking on Piper. And so Piper's uh, fur was always getting matted. So Denise had a friend who had a golden retriever. That She had two golden retrievers. And the one golden retriever had died. And the other golden retriever was kind of lonely. And so um, Denise was kind of mentioning that the dog was getting kind of, you know, unruly, I guess. And uh, so she was saying that she would love to have the dog. Because then her dog would have a companion. And so... Um, she adopted Denise's dog. So Denise, long story short, Denise doesn't have the dog anymore. But uh, she um, she's uh, sad because she she missed, you know, she liked, she loved the dog. We loved the dog. I mean, I, I tripped over the leash. The dog didn't have anything to do with it. She was a puppy learning how to walk on a leash. So I should have been a little bit more aware. But, you know kind of miss a pet when the pets are gone they really do but she still sees that you know like she can still see the dog see pictures of the dog and things like that so anyway um you're gonna see my breakfast and lunch i had a very high point breakfast and a very high point lunch but um i think i ended up so far with without eating my dinner 21 points or 20 points something like that 10 and 11, 21 points because my breakfast was 10 and my lunch was 11, so that's 21. But I'm planning them for dinner, which I'm probably not going to show you. I'm just going to let you know what I'm going to have. Um, I'm going to have a salad, which is zero, which is going to be like my spinach and my uh, leaf lettuce and my red leaf lettuce and cucumbers and some onions and tomatoes in it. And then I'm going to use a half a cup of cottage cheese as um, the dressing rather than use regular dressing for three points. And then uh, I'll just have some iced tea for my... Uh, my drink. So that'll put me two points over. So I'll just use my weeklies, which that's why they're there, is to use the weeklies. So um, that's my plan. That's my plan, and I'm sticking to it. John Lovitz on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> like, random things like that will stick in my mind. Just random things like that. But then i got to write down my notes for what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> I do. See, the, the random things in your mind? That must have been a short line, I thought. Probably people bypass that line thinking, why do I want random facts in my line? I'm gonna well, in my mind, I'm gonna pass that line by. And I'm thinking, you know what? That's a short line. I think I might like random facts in my mind. So I stood on that line real quick. But and like I said, I don't know for a fact that there really was a line in heaven. Somebody at one time I had said that and somebody said, How do you remember heaven? <laughs> I don't. But I, I know it's a good place. I've heard a lot about it. Not from anybody that's been there, but well, you know what? God was there. Jesus was there. He told me about it. Yeah. That's where I'm planning on going. I don't need to, even need to pack my bags, I'm sure. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm, all, I'm not ready, ready, ready yet, but I'm ready for when it comes. I really am. As much as I fear death, I am ready to go to heaven. I really am. But not too soon. Not too soon. Not too soon. <laughs> I'm ready to stay here for at least 20 more years. That's my plan. Okay, I've rattled on long enough. Let me show you my food and uh, for my breakfast and my lunch. And um, thank you once again for indulging me in my 
very self-promotional video <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> and uh, um, just like, like, comment, support, share. Stay safe. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, let's eat breakfast. Today is Wednesday, January 5th. I have 23 dailies, 15 weeklies left. My quote is, positive self-talk is the key to any successful person. It's a 10-point breakfast, zero for my egg, grapefruit, berries, tea, and tomato. Four points for my half of a Thomas's Lenders bagel. One point for a laughing cow cheese. Three points for my bacon. And two points for eight ounces of orange juice mixed with uh, eight ounces of diet cranberry juice. It's 10 points. Trying to eat um, lots of fruits and vegetables gets my immunity system built back up. Okay, this is my lunch. Uh, I don't know what the deal is, but I am so hungry. So rather than eat a lot of chips and um, cookies and things like that, because I do have some Christmas cookies in the freezer frozen, and we both know, or we all know, I could eat a frozen cookie. But I am going to have a tuna fish sandwich, but not all of the tuna fit on the sandwich, so I'm just going to eat a little bit of the tuna salad on its own. So it is a very high point lunch, 12 points. Uh, one point for my tuna. Uh, fish is not zero points on my plan because I didn't pick it as something that I eat often. So I have to pay one point for that. Two points for my Miracle Whip. Yes, Joan, a Miracle Whip. Um, two points for my cheese stick, which used to be one, but now it's two. My Miracle Whip used to be one, but now it's two. Uh, my cucumber, my peppers, my celery that's on my tuna. Um... My mushrooms and my sugar-free jello are all zero points. Two points for, or three points for my two tablespoons of um, vegetable dip. And two points for a 12-ounce glass of tomato juice, low sodium. So, uh, as you can see, I have one point left for dinner. I was planning on a salad for dinner with some cottage cheese and some dressing. So, once again, I will be going into my weeklies. But I have 15 of them. That's what they're there for. That's why I plan on using them. So let's go eat.